Hello, welcome to Learning Base Africa's Maths class. If this is your first time attending any of our maths classes, I say a big welcome to you. I am so excited having you here right now. And at Learning Base Africa, we have lots of maths geniuses. If you can stay with us for a period of three months attending our classes constantly, you will have a massive improvement in mathematics. You are welcome. So now let's dive into today's class. Now you'll be learning expansion of algebraic expressions. Now, if you're in primary four, five, six, GSS one, two, and three, you need to learn this topic because in your external exams, you will be having questions under this topic. Now, what does it mean to expand? To expand means to remove the brackets. In essence, expansion means to remove the brackets. Can you remember board mass? Board mass, which says brackets, order, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. And this is just one of the rules of board mass. Now let's start. For example, expand three into bracket X plus Y. Now, when we have X, we have Y, we have other letters of the alphabet and mathematics. We call them terms. So X is a term, Y is a term, three is also a term, but three is a number. So now let's expand this algebraic expression. Let's re remove the brackets. So three beside the brackets means three will multiply each term in the bracket so it means three times x three times x plus three times y three times y so now we have removed the bracket so let's simplify three times x is three x plus three times y is three y so we have three x plus three y now, when it comes to addition and subtraction of algebraic terms, we can't add or subtract terms that are not alike. It means 3x is different from 3y because 3x is a term in x, 3y is a term in y. So we call them unlike terms because they do not look alike. So this is our final answer. So this is how to expand algebraic expression. Let's see more examples. Expand two into bracket seven minus a, and that means two times seven minus two times a. So two times seven is 14 minus two times a is two a. Right now, this will be our final answer because we can't subtract 2a from 14. Why? Because they are unlike terms. They don't look alike. If they look alike, we would say they are like terms. So in mathematics and algebraic expressions, we have like terms and unlike terms. So these are unlike terms. They don't look alike. So we can't continue. Now the next one, expand 6 into bracket 3a plus 4d. So we'll now multiply straight away. 6 times 3a, 6 times 3 is 18. Then we have a plus 6 times 4 is 24. Then we have d. So this is 18a plus 24d, which is our final answer because they are unlike terms. Now another example, 2a into bracket 4 plus 7c. Now, 2a times 4 is 8a plus 2a times 7c. Pay attention. 2 times 7 is 14. We have a and c. So that will be a, c. a times c is a, c. This time we have 8a plus 14ac. They are still unlike terms. So we can neither add nor subtract. This is AC. This is A. They are still not the same. So if C is to be here, 
we would say they are the same. So this is our final answer. Now the next one is 3a plus 2 into brackets a plus 2b close brackets. Now we are going to expand this expression. So pay attention. So we have 3a plus 2 times a. That will be plus 2a. Plus times plus is plus. Okay? 2 times 2b is 4b. So we have just expanded this expression. At this point, we need to put like terms together. Now, 3a, 2a are the same. So they are like terms because they are in the same terms of a. Then 4b is another term entirely. So now 3a and 2a can be added together because they look alike. 3a plus 2a will be 5a. So you have 5a written down. Then you, have, you are left with plus 4b. So we have plus 4b. So the answer here is 5a plus 4b. They are all like terms, so we cannot add. So I hope you enjoyed this class. Now, if you want more mathematics like this, tell your parents to enroll you for our 36 days math adventure. It's going to be 36 days of live math class. It's going to be an intensive mathematics class treating general topics that are meant for your class. So if you are in primary four to six, we'll be having classes for primary four to six from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. Then from GSS one to three, we'll be having their classes from 7.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. for 36 days mathematics class. You know what? We will also be having revision classes for you before your examination. Now we have bonus classes for you. You will also be doing English language classes and we'll also be having animation and graphics design classes for you with video editing. I hope you are excited. You will not want to miss this class so that you can become a mathematician. So before the examination, join me as we go on a 36 days adventure in maths for 36 days. Per adventure, you are not around whenever the live classes will be on. You will have access to all the recorded classes and you'll be able to attend the classes again and again and again and again. And I will be excited to have you. Now, the class is at a 50% discount. So make sure you tell your parents to contact us with 080-600-90605. I believe you enjoyed this class. Now, before you go, you're going to do two exercises so as to know if you have a deep understanding of the topic now this is the first one expand 6x plus 3 into brackets 2y minus x number two expand 2 into bracket u plus v close bracket now do this in your exercise book and make sure you have the boldness and confidence to get the right answer but wait before you do this exercise, attend this class again for at least twice before you attempt it. Thank you very much. I'm so happy having you here. Have a lovely day.